entire internet. So today, I'm testing them to figure out how they work so you can use them in your world. Watch until the end to go from dumb to smart. Here's the easiest way to loot an ocean monument. All this right, trick avoids I'm mine listening. fatigue for just a little bit, so you gotta Wait, be quick. So first how? you wanna locate an ocean monument. An Monuments ocean will monument. have gold and sponges in them, so they could be pretty valuable. But I'm that gonna show you true. how to loot the gold here. The gold can be All found right. underneath these loops. I don't know what to call them. So really? line yourself I didn't up with the loops, that. lower your render distance to two, and then Wait, bow what? on over. Why do I Once need to take my render loops, distance down? Place down a door and dig down. Uh -huh. Underneath one of the loops will be dark prismarine. Mine but how does that, that stop the mining the fatigue? I don't okay. care. I mean, that's great and all, but is the bit I don't get. Normally, when you boat on over to one of these ocean monuments, you get hit with a very nasty side effect of mining fatigue. So if we switch into survival, you can see that even with an iron pickaxe, breaking sand is practically impossible. But apparently, doing all of these steps will mean we avoid that and we can just take the loot. But I think it has something to do with maybe lowering your render distance. They said we needed to come to options here, video settings, and then take our render distance. And bring that all the way down to two chunks. I think what that does is de-render the ocean monument. So the bit that gives you the mining fatigue disappears, I suppose. Well, let's give this a go, guys. We're going to jump into our boat. There we go, guys. We can see them just there. All right. Wish me luck. Down we go, guys. Into the ocean monument. All right. We haven't gotten the mining fatigue effect yet. Let's go ahead and place down our door. There we go. All right. We can breathe once again. And now we just need to dig down. Look at that, guys. I can dig with no mining fatigue whatsoever. Okay. There is our dark prismarine. And hallelujah. Absolutely no problems at all. I can just mine away at it. Now, obviously, it is going to be a little bit slower because we are in the ocean here, guys. But if we go ahead and place down our door. Okay, this is going to create a little air pocket. We can breathe again. Fantastic. We'll just grab all of our gold. Absolutely no problems at all, guys. Full of mining speed. And once we've got that, well, we can, uh, we can scoot. We can yeet out of here. And the loot is ours. We didn't even have to find guardians or elder guardians. Wow, that is, that is actually OP. Get on the boat and I'm out. I'm out. I'm out, boys. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, what are we doing with all of those armor stats? All right, we're chucking elytra at all of them and now breaking the blocks down. What exactly are we making here, guys? An elytra mess thing? Oh, okay. The armor stands are now invisible, so we use the splash potion of invisibility. We're grabbing ourselves an iron trap door with a piston down into it and just pushing it down. Guys, I am so confused. What are we actually making right now? How is this big bread? All right, now we're putting some flowers in, a chainmail helmet, some more elytra, and then another armor stand. Holy moly, this is a ton of them, guys. Uh, Steve head. Oh, wait a minute. I think I know what that is. <laughs> Guys, that is a Steve bride. It's like Steve's wedding. That is brilliant. That is so smart. I never thought of that before. And now what do we make? Oh my goodness, that is the groom and the bride, guys. Steve's are getting married. It's their wedding day. I love that. The creative genius there was big brain. But does it actually work? That's what I want to figure out. So you can build it in your own Minecraft world. First off, I noticed they had one block broken from the ground with a slab in it. Then we're going to place some stone bricks above here and then an armor stand. Now we need to create a ginormous tower of armor stands like they had. But here is the main key, guys. You gotta have each armor stand facing a different direction. So basically, you create a tower of armor stands that are in a full circle. All right, here we go. Our final one now. Boom! There we go. A full circle of armor stands. It looks very strange at the moment, but it should all come together very soon. We're gonna place elytra wings on each of these armor stands, and then we're gonna break out each of these stone brick blocks so the armor stands fall down. All right, there we go. And then we can break all of these ones. Now, what we need to do, guys, is get an iron trapdoor into there. Now, basically, what they did is they built up. They placed their iron trapdoor just there, I think it was. And then from here, we had a piston facing downwards. So you gotta have it on the bottom half of this block here, not on the top the bottom. Then we're going to activate that with a piston and we're going to need a second piston there guys. Boom. Push that down and now the iron trap door should be there. Now we just got to get rid of those other stands to grab the old potion of invisibility, splash that on. Wabam. Perfect. All right. Now we just need to create our person for the dress. So we're going to place our armor stand and they used a chain helmet and a peony flower. So we'll put both of those on and you want to crouch and click on your armor stand one, two, three times while crouching. Just like so. We're going to break that down and then finally guys, another armor Understand, guys, the number of other stands is ridiculous. And then this one is going to have a head and an iron chest plate, just like so. We're going to crouch once again. One, two, three, and drop that down. And boom, check it out, guys. There is our Steve Bright. Uh, it just makes you look like a building pro. You're going to need a cauldron. Fill that up with some water. Dye it black. And then boom, like so. Dye each of those black. We're going to need another armor stand, a Steve head like so, and we'll just place them just like that. Place your blocks, put down your armor stand, and then here we go. Head, and then your leather black tunics. And voila, guys, look at how cute they are. Here comes the bride, both with Steve heads. It's very odd, but we 
we should probably move on to the next hack. Did you know you can trade with villagers for zero emeralds in Excuse Minecraft? Me? Yeah, it's true. And I'm not talking about that thing where you cure zombie villagers and they lower their prices. Okay. No, this is something completely different. After successfully protecting a village from a raid, a player right. will receive the hero of the village oh, status effect. Course. When but you have this you effect and you stuff? go back to the village, uh -huh. all non-working villagers will throw you gifts for free. Wait, These gifts are dependent like, on the type yeah, of villager good, and some of them are actually pretty rare. Armorers are guaranteed to give you chainmail armor and Fletchers will always give you some type of tip. I had no idea you could useful. do this. All right, I popped over to a pillager outpost, got myself the bad omen effect. I'm gonna chuck on my netherite armor and I've got my sights on this poor unsuspecting village. The minute I waltz into this thing, a raid should commence. And if this works, this will be the, the biggest, biggest brain way way to get free items. All right, there we go, guys. Here begins the raid. Now I must take on all of these uh, pillager scum and protect this village and get myself the hero of the village effect. This could take a while, so uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. Only one villager remains. I shall take out this evoker. Hop, bam, boom. And you are gone. Woo! I think we did it. Hero of the village, we defeated the raid, and boom, there we go, guys. We've got ourselves the hero of the village effect. Now, these villagers should start giving us free items. Is this guy throwing free stuff? No, okay, so apparently they have to be pillagers or, or villagers that don't have any professions, guys. This is all the free stuff I'm gonna get. Oh, I mean, we got a free saddle over here, but, uh... So I suppose the village was kind of half true, because I did some more looking around the village, and I found a chainmail helmet and some tipped arrows of strength here, guys. However, the only difference is in the video, they were just giving away tons and tons of free items whereas in the actual game you kind of got to go looking for the items Alrighty, what new big brain hack is blowing my mind next we've got an armor stand holding a spyglass and now we're fishing for the spyglass okay this is not smart this is just stupid and a waste of time what i'm so confused all right now we're placing a candle why a candle that is so odd okay we're pushing it down here to the ground using a piston now we've got an armor stand holding a brewing stand this gets more and more confusing by the minute. And now we're fishing for the brewing stand. I'm so confused. Wait, what is what is this little mangle of armor stands, guys? And we're still fishing? Are we supposed to get them in like a certain position? Or am I just watching a video of people fishing armor stand? Wait a minute, what is that? Hold up. Guys, I think they're actually being big brain right? They weren't fishing for no reason. I think this, wait, wait, I need to see how it comes together. I'm not 100% sure what this is at. I don't wanna get it wrong. Okay, wait. It's a microscope in Minecraft. That looks so legit, that looks so cool. <laughs> Fishing rod seems really smart, but will it actually work? And can you build this in your world? That's what I want to know, so let's test it. First, we want to place down the armor stand diagonally like so and give this bad boy a spyglass. Then go ahead and crouch and click on that armor stand while crouching one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. Now, the way that this spyglass is facing is super important. We want to place two blocks here and then two blocks behind our armor stand like so. It doesn't matter what blocks, I don't think. But here is the tricky part, guys. We've got to use a fishing rod and attach it to the very top of our armor stand. We want to try and get right on the center of the head there. Ha <laughs> ha! Just like that! All right, once we got that, guys, we need to move just a little bit to the left here. So we'll go just here and then pull the fishing rod up just like so. All right, so we brought it forward here and then they had to bring it back so that the back of this armor stand was touching this wall here. So let's go ahead and we'll once again jump up here. Bang. Okay, this is going to be a little bit tricky. You need to make sure it hits the head of the armor stand like so. If it goes through, it's not going to work. All right, there we go. And we'll move up a little bit like so. Okay, I, I brought it forward more. Ah! This is so tricky. What? Okay, there we go. And then we'll bring it just forward. Bang. There we go. I think we got it. Okay, perfect, guys. That is the perfect position. It probably could be a little bit better. But look, I don't think I'm going to get better. All right, now that we've done that, guys, this is the really weird bit to me. We're going to place a block here with a candle on it. Break that block. And then we need to have a piston facing downwards here, guys. We need to activate that piston once, then place a block underneath it, activate it again, and then place a second block, activate it again. And we can break each of those blocks. And that's going to put our candle here on the ground. Then we needed to have another block. And I think we place an armor stand on top of this. And you want to crouch and click on your armor stand once. One, two times, give it a brewing stand, and I think that should do it. We can break that block out like so, and boom! Look at that, guys! It actually looks like a microscope, except you got all this weird armor stand stuff going on at the moment. So let's go ahead and cover this up. First, we're going to need a splash potion of invisibility. What bang! Goodbye! Then you want to place a half slab block on the bottom half of this block here, and we're just going to place down a piston facing downwards. You want to activate that once, place a block under here, activate it again, and that should do it. Boom! There is the little platform for our brewing stand microscope to sit on. And finally, guys, we're going to be examining something. So they used an item frame as slime block, but you can use any block you want. We're going to place down an item frame, our slime block, and then you can cover up these sides like so. And boom, look at that, guys. You actually got a microscope in Minecraft. That is so cool. I love it. 
Did I know that? Did I know what, guys? Okay, we're breaking out the ground, placing in some soul sand. We got our Wither Rose on top. And then, wait, is he bone mealing the Wither Raw? Wait, what? I had no idea you could do that. A wither tree and you get wither skulls on it? That is the quickest way to get wither skulls ever. So wait, let me get this straight. All I needed to do was break out a block in the ground, place in our soul sand, put down our wither rose, and then bone meal it. That's it. All right, guys, let's give it a go. One, two, three. Whoa! Oh my goodness, that is so cool. I wish it wasn't clickbait. Yeah, it is, guys. That is absolute trash, trash clickbait. I tried doing this before filming, and no, this isn't real whatsoever. So how come it works right here, guys? Basically, underneath this, we have three command blocks. We have one that's testing for us bone mealing three times, then another one that's cloning in an area, and then this one resetting our scoreboard. Now, where is this cloning in? Well, it's cloning in a pre-built version of the street. This is how they clickbaited us, guys. We're not letting them get away with it. I'm exposing them right here and now. Now, the other thing is, guys, is you can't bone mill with the roses. So we're actually using a resource pack here, guys, that changes the dirt into soul sand and changes the tree sapling into the wither rose. So you can see here, guys, look at that. This was actually a tree sapling and bone mill just with a resource pack. Now, guys, I hate it when people clickbait us like this. That's why I exposed them right here, guys. So if you want to put an end to clickbait on the internet, make sure you subscribe. Well, let's move on to some actually real big brain hacks. Having all this redstone exposed can look messy. Instead yeah, of using an item frame, you can place huh? it right on top of that an redstone. item frame? How is that going to hide our redstone? And get a map the same redstone? kind of color. Uh-huh. So get a map with just tons of blue on it so it matches the, the blue wool. And then... There you go. You can cover it up. And what? as you can see, it looks that a lot so more smart. cleaner. Yes, I know. That is a lot of blue. Like, a lot of blue. <laughs> Because in that video, they had a map that was completely blue. Now, the only way you can get maps to match colors you want is by building out giant areas of that color using concrete blocks. So you can see here, I built a giant blue concrete thing up in the sky. So now, if we jump down here and just pretend that that doesn't exist. Basically, we had uh, some oak planks here with a little bit of a redstone going on here. So let's say we got our redstone coming up to this redstone lamp. Pretend this is my house, all right, guys? All right. Blue carpet as the flooring here, guys. Wow. Okay. And now we want to hide up this redstone dust here. To do that, all we need to do is grab our item frames, place these on top of our redstone like so. This already semi-hides the redstone, but to really complete it, we can put in these blue maps in here just like that. Okay, this is a little bit tricky. You got to get the angle just right. The outs... How do you... There we go! I did it! Okay, it's possible, but you got to get it like right on the corner of the item frame. That is so tricky. There we go. Come on. Come on. One more. Just right on the corner. There we go. Yes. Boom. If you just spam click, eventually it'll cover up. It looks just like the blue floor, guys. And boom. The redstone works. I can turn on and off the lamp. Huh. That is so smart. And it looks so clean, too. All right. We got a crafting table. What exactly about crafting is smart? Okay. We got a bunch of chains here. What can you use chains to craft? Nothing, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. We're... Wait. He used chains to make chain mail armor. Wait. Hold on. That makes sense. That makes sense! But Chain Mail Armor isn't supposed to have a crafting recipe, but this guy out here just crafted it like there's no tomorrow. Do they update the game? How do I mean, I should have thought about that. That doesn't make sense. Use Chain to craft Chain Mail Armor. All right, jump down the crafting table. Gotta see this with myself. We'll put the chains in. Bop, bop, bada, bam. Boom! Chain Mail Armor! That makes so much sense. I wish they actually added it to the game. Yeah, it's clickbait, guys. It's, cl it's clickbait. Chain mail's not a real recipe in the game. They clickbait. That's how easy it is to clickbait us. Ah! I'm exposing them right here and now. They used a data pack to change the code of Minecraft. So if they type in slash data pack uh, disable for us, you can see file slash uh, chain mail crafting. When we disable that, this goes back to vanilla Minecraft. And now I can no longer craft that chain mail armor. Yeah, guys, I'm sorry to burst all your dreams and bubbles, but uh, no, nah, not happening today. There's never going to be a crafting recipe for chain mail. So yeah, guys, I am sick of clickbait. I want more real. Minecraft tags, but we actually ran out of time for this video. So if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Check out the next video. I'll see you then. Till then, anyway, stream out. Bye.